Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast episode 634. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Rory Feinside. Ahoy. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello, hello, hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome, guys. Mm-hmm. Welcome, listeners and viewers to the Gamecast, uh, episode 634. We are live streaming on Twitch starting Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. We usually do the movie cast first, Gamecast second. Bonus rounds coming soon. Mm-hmm. Um, please join us there or... Yeah, hit that bell and like this video. Or not do all the things. <laughs> do the thanks, Corey. <laughs> yes, do those awesome. things. Do those things. Uh, but we're on tw- on YouTube the following day, so you can subscribe to both channels and and uh, join us. It's fun. Uh, we chat with you guys. If you ch- if you chat in the channel with us, we'll chat back. Um, but yeah, this is a game cast. So we've got um, some numbers to talk about. We've got some direct from last week. Our predictions, which mm-hmm. we have to talk about shortly. But what have we been playing, guys? You got to give me. Uh, Informations, uh, uh, Tony. What have you been playing? Uh, have just you... mm-hmm. Metro Remastered. I mean, have you? No, no. I'm okay. Trying to. We'll get to that, right? We'll, we'll, we'll get to we'll that. Talk about uh... it. No, so... I know. I just didn't know if you picked it up. So I was like, No, I mean, well, I'm waiting for the physical version. Oh yeah, if... I will definitely too. But yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, no, still trucking with um, Fire Emblem uh, Engage. Just uh, <laughs> I was an hour deep into another map, and uh, there was no. Um, Winnable route, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I had to restart, but I just beat it. I was just like, ah, "Fucking a!" Like the boss uh, unit, because again, this is like an anniversary. Like you know, beat all the old characters, and there's this one guy, Hector, and in the uh, Fire Emblem community, he's known as like a meme because it's like he just counterattacks you in the Heroes game, mm. where it's like, th- like there's a meme where it's like, even though he holds an axe, like he just fucks you up, and it's like none of my dudes could like hurt him. I was like, oh, uh, that's really bad. Like, even, like, my better units were like, yeah, a couple damage. I was like, oh, no. And it's like, well, what are you weak against? And it's like, oh, you're weak against magic. I only have one of those. So, uh, yeah, I had to restart and bring in a, se- uh, a second mage. And I was just like, oh, my God, I'm so upset right now. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, whatever, I did it. I'm happy. I'm done with. Uh, other than that, just more golden eye some of the game boy stuff on the switch we'll nice. get into but yeah how's that game boy stuff coming out on there fun Good? it's really fun yeah like, just i don't know just like having all those titles available that you can play either docked or you know like you would a game boy just really Daniel, cool yeah. like if you haven't done i would definitely check it out i have to check it out no i have you have to check it out so um cool cool um uh cory what have you been playing uh some more xenoblade got um uh, moving the story forward so lost a certain character in my party. Oh, Got... okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So nothing like crazy stuff has happened yet, but still just trucking along. So we'll see. I'm uh, really enjoying the combat in this one way more <laughs> than the last one. Yes, so. the combat in this one is very, so much more going on. Very engaging. Like <laughs> yeah. it's just crazy. Uh, the first one's like okay, and then the second one's like we're gonna ramp it up, and then like mm-hmm. we're gonna ramp it up even more. So yeah. Yeah, and I, I find myself just like. Oh, there's an enemy. I'm gonna go pack it just to like play around with the yep. the different things, and because you can switch between the characters, switch their their classes, and it makes it really a lot fun. of interest. It makes it so yeah, fun. They, it's interesting. So it's getting used to one of the other side, well, other party members' skill set. Just you mm-hmm. know, you get used to that, and then you switch to something else, and so yeah, it's pretty a lot of fun. So I find myself kind of just you know stuck in a little area, just messing around with that stuff and like oh shoot i should probably move the story first. <laughs> it's like i've been here for an hour killing mobs yeah. like, oh jeez. Mm. Mm-hmm. yeah no yeah, cool um all right mike what are you been playing um i still have lingered a little bit on midnight suns um i still have to finish it i, I started doing more side wow. stuff I know I did. Yeah. I did a bunch. I got in that loop of like a bunch of side stuff and i forgot to open up a whole bunch of canisters i was like whoops Oh um, wow! Really? I, I, I I have a routine. Every every mission, I go so, and do all that over Mike, and over. So you, just so you know, Mike, I'm notorious for get for forgetting to level my characters up on certain things. And uh, yeah. yeah, the canisters I had, I don't even know how many I had. I was like, I completely like I did it for a while, and then I just yeah, stopped. they're yeah, they're pretty helpful. I know they are. <laughs> Is this so, another tales uh, of situation, dude? <laughs> Not quite, because I did some of them, and I'm still progressing fine. But it, it will close. help me later on. Yeah, um, I yeah. had like I mean, I had like a list of like probably 25 canisters I hadn't opened yet. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there pressing I the button. Pretty over much. 
never have more than one or two. I know. I, I what happened was is because I played it, and then you take the you stop and you take a break, and you just like you forget, and then you come back and you start playing more, and you're going through the missions, and you forget all these canisters are piling up, and then finally I'm like, oh, let me go down and talk to Doctor Strange for something, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Well, I was I I became quite regimented with like after every mission you you know you talk to the people outside or uh, at night then you go to sleep you wake up you go downstairs you upgrade your shit and then you go upstairs you upgrade in the yard and then you do a new mission I did that every single day in that game. yeah I mean I was sparring all the time I am always sparring but uh, I just forgot the canisters so you're you're, you're one degree away from uh, Persona Five right now so. Might as well just jump in after this. <laughs> but um, on Game Pass, right? It is on Game yeah. Pass. Yeah, it's a great yeah, game. Yeah, it is, Mike. I, uh, Mike, it's a great game, and I'll tell you what. Content-wise, you want hours? This has got it. And uh, Persona is a. I think you attack. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. I, I do. I think so you're ready. Jump to into the jump into the middle of this series. Like, they're, they're not five, connected, like, really. They're not no. connected. They're not. No, okay. you can. I, mean, very, listen, I never played. Very rudimentarily, like it. It's in the same world, but. The characters don't really cross yeah. over at all. I mean, I think Call I only... of Duty is more connected. Than yeah, these Call days, of Duty is more connected than Persona these days. <laughs> I played very, I played very little bit of Persona Three on the Vita, and I love Five. Like Five, Five was the first game I really played all the way through, and I love that game. So yeah. We'll see, if it's... there's a lull, I'm I'm looking forward to a game coming out in about a week, so I won't. That's get fair. into something like that but it's 80 hours I'll... mike it's 80 hours yeah, so. yeah. There's, maybe probably there's a probably more. Yeah, there's <laughs> a big level this year then maybe um I'll just but yeah that. and then after that i yeah i'm i am to the point though in midnight suns where i'm pretty much done i'm where i'm looking at achievements just to see if there's anything else i care to do i only need to be best friends with deadpool at this point because he's the dlc character Everyone else I'm best friends with already. Um, and there's also the one where you need to, like, have every character survive the threat room. Did you do the threat room at all, uh, Jim? No, no. That's the thing you can upgrade in the yard where Oh, okay. you go in there and you got to last, like, three rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did do character. that. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them like are harder than others I, in that room is where i realize you actually get a free card play if you go on a five killing streak which because you don't typically do that normally in normal gameplay but in there you see that it happens um so i don't know if i want to do that or not but after that i also just sort of went back to my my retro section here and looked at uh went back to 20 years ago with all these wrestling games this time on the playstation 2 the here comes the pain, SmackDown versus Raw, and seeing what kind of nonsense me and my brother made as far as <laughs> created characters. And um, a few of them, we both of us don't know who or why we created. It's just these r random dudes with random names, and we don't know who or why they're there. But <laughs> yeah, r wrestling games back from the past. And oh my god, the, the one game. <laughs> The SmackDown versus Raw, that was such a horny game. Everything, every unlock is like a, it says sexy Stacey Keebler loading screen. Yeah, or it's the Attitude Era, right? It, well, slightly afterwards, I think. Um, maybe you would count is their that, like mid-2000s. On, on, on brand for WWE? There was it, not, not now, but back then it was. Um, but you know, they like everything you unlock is just like bra and panties, like alternate costumes, like all this stuff. I'm like, oh my god, like this is not what wrestling is anymore. <laughs> but whatever, it was funny. Just go back, yeah, to like 2005 and see what the fuck was going on then. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's a little trip back to the past. I will say, uh, Churro's got it right, by the way, in the chat here. Uh, you also get to play P5 Royal, uh, which is the ultimate version of that game. <laughs> And it's like the best for like it's you don't have to play the original one like it's Q QOL is way better than that one. So okay, I just um, it's I just don't like anime that much. And dude, I don't you played Yakuza <laughs> like a dragon. But yeah, this that's is anime without being anime. anime. Yeah. <laughs> this well, is yeah, that's, the same that's vibe. part of it though. It's like not anime, but it's it's it is, Japanese. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know it's it's ready. ready. We'll see. It's very much like anime uh, Yakuza. 
Absolutely it is. All right. Uh, let's get into, let's see what we have some news here with, I had it opened. Oh, NPD. We'll do NPD first. Let's do NPD. Uh, it's All probably right. one of the last NPDs we're going to get. It seems like uh, they're cracking down again on data. Are they really? Because they had a lot of information on this one. So, uh, 123 was PS5 Switch Xbox series for console sales. Uh, January 2023 marks the first time the U.S. market experienced a year-on-year decline uh, since September 2022 when consumer spending reached uh, 4% below 2021 levels. Uh, Inflation, yeah, I mean... Recession's coming. Yeah. I mean, MPD market, let's see what we got here. Call of Duty was number one. Dead Space, which was a new release. Uh, re- remaster didn't was in second. Mm. So uh, here come the remasters. Good or bad, here they come. Um, Madden that one NFL, seems real good, so yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as it's done right, that's that's mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, Madden NFL, FIFA, Fire Emblem Engage, which another new release from Nintendo oh. does not include digital, um, right? They still don't include digital, still right? Not include digital. Uh, still in that top 10 and deserves to be <laughs> the Elden Ring, um, <laughs> you know, the one Elden of those games that. Spoken. Yeah, like listen, it's one of those games that should always be in the in the top ten list. You know, there's there's no games that deserve it more. <laughs> Fuck GTA Five. I'm, I'm gonna pull this one out. Go ahead, guys. Come on, play this game. Play it to death. Um, all right. Let's see what else we got here. Forspoken. Spoken, I, number seven. For Spoken. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Pretty that's good. pretty good. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty good. You're up against. Look at the titles you're up against. You, you get your standards. Dead Space Three did it way above what I expected. No, no, I do think good. that's pretty good considering like. The game was memefied before it even came out. Like I'm surprised people I are people hate playing it. I don't I don't know what's going on. But I don't, I don't know. I I just think with the amount of budget that game had, and I mean it has like voice acting, like those are you know, pretty good graphics for a game and it's like number seven, like below I mean Square is gonna hate these below levels, Elden so Ring, which is a year old for... at this point, and below Fire Emblem, yeah. which is only physical sales. For spoken I on two plat- I don't know. I mean, I no, like I mean it's not it's one. not great or anything, but I didn't even expect it to like show up considering the reception. But yeah. maybe it's, every it's maybe this everyone who bought it is like streamers just so they can meme it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But not this yeah. is not good for them. Let's give that studio's getting closed. <laughs> yeah, so they I mean, yeah, maybe. God of War, One Piece, and Pokemon Scarlet Violet were in your top ten. Uh, interesting to note, though, is number 11 was Last of Us Part 1, coming up from 36 on the chart in December. Coming out uh, on PC in a couple weeks. Yeah, clearly uh, yeah, yeah. clearly the show is helping there. Yeah. Um, Not the weird. biggest jumper, I mean, though. Monster Hunter Rise went from no. 68 yeah. to number 13. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Crazy. Uh, U.S. hardware uh, was flat compared to a year ago. Um, That's because one of the systems is not doing well. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get into that in a second. We will get into that uh, in a second. <laughs> yeah. PlayStation 5 is the best market in selling console. Accessories fell 14%, which is huge because that's a, that's a moneymaker for them. Um, what accessories are there with this generation? Game pads and, yeah, Oops. I mean, there's, there's a bunch. Controllers. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess what, what's the change are happening? Only doing market total market charts going forward? Yeah, they were doing top 10 for each, but they're not doing yeah. that anymore. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they're doing right. trailing 12 months anymore either, which is disappointing because you can see how yeah, big, see how you know, things. yeah, you could see how big certain releases were when it's like, oh, this shot up all the way to number three. And, you know, you can extrapolate how well that did. Monster Hunter, just like you said. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's the NPD pretty much. I didn't miss anything, did I? No. No. I went through it. Okay. Let's talk about Microsoft then real quick about the Game Pass apparently is cannibalizing sales, which no duh. No shit. Uh, <laughs> um, so is it a bad thing though? Is it, they haven't, I mean, obviously their system sales are not, it's not doing great, the system anymore, but we've gone back to this again, multiple times about content. And while Game Pass is an amazing value and, and it's great, it really is. There's just not enough first party content on this console and it's starting to, show up that way right is that what we're seeing here really yeah well, so i mean first there's... of all go ahead go ahead mike no, i mean i think that's two separate issues but i do think 
I think Game Pass, if it if it stays as more of a you know d- discount type thing, where it is as cheap as it is and stays that way, it shouldn't have you know the first party titles on it, the new releases. That is, I mean, like new AAA releases. I kind of always view it as you know indie releases and you know older stuff um and that way they wouldn't have to you know raise the price or anything and and everyone should be fine with that and it wouldn't cannibalize sales now we don't even know for sure how much it really will because very few (laughs) first party big games have been released on it so far other than i guess halo infinite might be the one um so them saying this now pretty much is as Tony has alluded to, probably their their little getting us ready for when they bump the price when Starfield comes out. So oh, yeah, I think we're right on that. Uh, that's, so. that's 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 their strategy. So right. I, I don't know. I, I I sort of view Game Pass as a would be maintainable as sort of a discount thing, but I don't particularly think it makes sense for new first party AAA mm-hmm. titles to be on it. Yeah, have like a month buffer or something. Then, I mean, more than that, really, but yeah, yeah, yeah just, I don't know. So, I mean, what were you going to say then? So, first of all, I mean, this came out of the um, the Activ- Activision Blizzard King um, inquiry in Europe, I believe, where Microsoft themselves submitted the documentation that said uh, games suffer a percentage decrease. Per- the exact percentage is not known because it's scratch out of the record. Um, Twelve months after the like. Starting from when it releases on Game Pass and the twelve months after, like it's a it's a sales decrease, and you could be like, you know, shit. But the, you know, Phil Spencer did argue those first what year or two where he's like, you know, game sales aren't affected. I was like, wow, that's surprising to me. I don't know how, but it, it was. Mm-hmm. Right, if we were affected by it, right? I mean, There's no way I wasn't buying the games. I was right. just playing my Game Pass, so yeah. it was just weird. <laughs> but I think it, it was at that time where people were embracing the new Xbox, either you know, the late Xbox One uh, X. <laughs> Late in generation yeah. or the early adopters with the Xbox Series consoles. Mm. But I think now, you know, we're two years into the new generation and it's like, you know, their consoles aren't selling fast enough to increase the adoption rate. Um, the PC portion of it is nice to have, but people are so ingrained in like the Steam um, integration. Really, they yeah. really need more of a partnership with Steam. They, if they get that, they, they'd be really good that at would, that. That would definitely help them out there for sure. But... I just think it's one of those things that, again, like, I don't want to word this. There are games where, like, people uh, uh, admit, like, um, I won't buy this game because I, this seems like a Game Pass game, right? Like, mm-hmm. I think we even said this on our podcast. We're like, yeah, yeah this probably feels oh, like I've, it's going to be on Game Pass in, like, two or three months, right? You know, it's like. There's games I look at, I'm like, I want to play that, but I think it'll be on Game Pass. I'll wait. You know, I mean, actually like, said that about Midnight Suns, but it didn't go that way. I did get it slightly discounted, though. I still think that shows up on Game Pass shortly. But, but, but. Not on an Xbox, I actually. <laughs> like most of my single-player games, I chose the PlayStation. Right. Yeah, so we it's should. This, but... So it's this thing where, like, <laughs> Game Pass, if we're using it as a multiplayer thing, okay, that's fine. But I think the cost has to come down because all the biggest multiplayer titles are free to play anyway. You look at... Yeah. Overwatch, Apex Legends, mm-hmm. Fortnite, you know, um, PUBG at this point, like Call of Duty, it, Warzone. Yeah, Warzone, exactly. I mean, you don't need to pay to play any of these. It's all free to play because all these companies figured out, hey, if we make it free to play, we make the 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 pond big, uh, and we only get you know a couple sales the here, and there, but then we get yeah. the whales, and the whales are the yeah. people that pay for everybody else. Whereas, like with Game Pass, I, I just don't understand because. You only have that one tier, right? You only have one tier of uh, Ultimate here. Uh, I guess you have two if you're just including Ultimate. You could do like Xbox only and PC and Xbox, I think, or just yeah. PC. But it's just weird. I, I really think they need it's to. Not, there's no value in doing it that way. Right, there's no value. So I, I don't know. I just I just feel something's got to give with the Game Pass thing here because, you know, these publishers are going to start demanding more money from Microsoft. And they're like, hey, our sales decrease whenever you put a title on Game Pass now. So we have mm-hmm. to factor that in. And yeah. they're already paying hand over fist for some of those titles to show up on Game Pass. Oh, sure. Absolutely. So I just, you know, if they're spending more money to get these games now on Game Pass, I just don't see how they don't increase the price. Like, I just don't. I agree. I think a price increase is absolutely happening very shortly. Very soon. 
Very soon. It's, it's got to so. be a Starfield. <laughs> I will bet. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, no, especially if, if there's something that would be a big seller like that otherwise. Yeah. Yep. They, yep. they really haven't had much of anything like that. The closest no, thing that, yeah. aside from Halo Infinite, I what do I go back to? Uh, World. That's not even like really yeah. even triple A. Well, well, kind of hundred bucks more a year. What, what's it at now? I don't even remember. It's one twenty a year. Seventy. One twenty. One twenty. I thought it's it's right now. Like sixty bucks or something. I, I don't know. Oh, it's it, because monthly. No, no, like no, 10, no, no, you're right. right. You're right. It's it's. I, I remember. It's equivalent. It's one twenty, I think, for a oh, it's full one, year. It's one twenty for the ultimate. Because I remember thinking, if I play the equivalent of two, you know, major games mm-hmm. on it, then it may, it, I, it's I, worth I, it. I obviously, have not used it. So I well, no I mean, idea. it's like it's it's forty. It's normal. It depends on sales. So it's usually I think it's forty five dollars for three months, but the price comes down as you as you go up in the subscription. Mm-hmm. You do an annual, it's cheaper, but. Mm-hmm. You know, I got my my three months for like thirty bucks a piece. You just stack them up, so that would be that would be one twenty a year, anyways. So, um, but I think it is Where like one fifty. I think you're gonna go up to two hundred yeah. if it's not already there. That's, I think it's fifteen a huge. month. I think it's fifteen mm-hmm. a month already, though. I think so. Fifteen or twenty bucks a piece. Month. Yeah. So that's two forty. I think it's two forty. I bet probably, you it was twenty bucks. They'll probably give you a discount to two hundred though if you do. Uh, that's a huge jump, though. That's a huge jump. That's a big know. jump. Like yeah. all these, I don't know. Five dollars is a lot, but yeah, I don't know. I just but so is ten. But so is ten dollars for people for for a for, for a game, and that's oh, happening right. now. And and I understand it. It's happening. It needed yeah. to happen, and that it's the same jump. It's right. Same idea. You're right. And we're gonna get to that in another minute here. Yes. Um. So we'll get into the <laughs> Nintendo Direct. Is that what we have on there? Go right into that now. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, so the Nintendo Direct happened last week. We had our predictions, which uh, give Tony some credit here. Tony, you, you got a uh, Shadow Drops. You want Shadow Drops? They got Shadow Drops. Mm. Um, but, I mean, just to tie this in real quick, let's we'll talk about Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom was on here, uh, and it will be the first uh, Nintendo game to come out at $70. No. Um, first of this generation. <laughs> yes, uh, they, they, they did that. it with the N64 a bit. Yes, yeah. I, I mean, Shadows <laughs> of the Empire was sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah. I know because I paid it. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's a there was a bunch of games back then that were sixty nine ninety nine. So that, that's that's probably what more. I, I, carts, man, carts were more expensive. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's funny. People are like, "What? This is outrageous!" I'm like, "Well," and when everything else was like one third the price in the world, you were just paying about seventy dollars for some games back then too. Yep. So mm-hmm. chill out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not the the problem. Like I said on Discord, is the problem that I had with with it was the timing of it it needed to be done earlier um and it just they took too long to do it well, now it's, uh, you know this for the th- see the other people <laughs> the 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 sony's and microsoft's try to justify it with you know the generational jump here it's just seems like this is going to be popular so we can get away with this which feels yeah, a little bad I, I understand your point like that's what <laughs> i was saying i do understand your point mike it's not that's not the reason but i understand what you're saying well, what's like, the reason then the reason is because the costs of games have gone up. You think this compares to what a AAA game no, on costs, the other yeah, no, systems? Yes, it does. It's be? still the same cost. It's still the same I don't know about that. I'm saying that the, the cost has already been there. They're finally putting it into the game. The cost has been there for years. The, but you're in an old engine. And it doesn't matter. Old, it doesn't old matter. Hardware. It's the same All that stuff gets cheaper as time goes forward. Staffing is the same idea. You have to pay people. You have to pay the people. Most expensive. This is a part of it, but it's not. You know, it's not the only part. This game took six it's years. The most to expensive part. <laughs> six yeah. years to develop. I mean, it's a. It's a meeting. It's staffing. Yeah. And I mean, it, in God salaries, got it. Got award yeah. did it, and they recycled more content. I mean, I joked. You know? I joked that this was this is their ten percent uh, pay raise, but I'm just that's well, the yeah, joke I mean, about that. So that's part of it. At least we know it's going to the employees that just got you know. They, they strangely enough just announced that just before this happened. So yeah. give Nintendo, Nintendo yeah. had that's a good that's a good uh, chart right there. Uh, so it makes you go into the fact that yeah they're giving some of this to the employees, not some like some of it. You yeah. know that's profits. Yeah. Um, I mean Nintendo did come out when they did Breath of the Wild. They said this is the most expensive game we've ever done. Like flat out, yeah. they're just like this is the most expensive game ever that we've done. So. Uh, for the sequel, they obviously got bigger and better, and it took six years. Like it wasn't a quick turnaround. I could understand if they reused the yeah. majority of the assets, and we gotcha. saw a, a, a sequel. Do in two we know? Years. No, we don't know. We hardly know anything right now. <laughs> They're being very oh. secretive. 
We hardly know anything. Uh, but it's not like, you know, like Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask, where that came out, what, like two, two, two and a half years later, and it was like, mm-hmm. you know, recycle most of the content, and, you know, here's, here's a new game or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's, sure, uh, I guess so. It's but, but also, cheaper than ever right now. So. At, but also at that time, you know, the N64 wasn't like two generations behind everything else. It doesn't, it I don't feel think that matters so much. Again, we're talking about, you know, people's, they have still have to work and maintain all the stuff. That's there, so I get yeah. you're not building a completely new engine, but we don't you're, know. You're looking at the graphics that. of the game and, and extrapolating that to <clears throat> the quality of the game when you should be looking mm-hmm. at how many people it takes to develop the game. Also, I mean, we, I get yeah, we don't know don't... what it took to like use like all the the technology they may have to have rewrite like rewritten it all. Like who knows? Like we have no idea. That's the thing. So I guess we'll see. I think people also said a look. Like a lot of the map was the same too from this trailer. Well, you can but... have a similar look because it's the same world. Yeah, world. But... It's a sequel. Fun. I mean, they're actually we'll doing see. a sequel. So, okay. um, it's in the sky though too. So there's a whole mm-hmm. other area to, to uh, traverse. But um, we'll see. Yeah, but I mean, they, um, they did flat out say they were like, it's going to be on a case by case basis. So, uh, and true. We've already seen Pikmin Four, uh, which is also included in the direct that's coming out in July, and that's fifty nine ninety nine. I would be. Well, we, they know that people are going to pay for. Right. Zelda. Absolutely. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I think they. I really think a lot of this is they can get away with this because. Well, sure. Absolutely. It's, Every it's company like can get away with it. As soon I, I said that. As soon as what was it? Was it EA or is it fucking um, Ubisoft? Ubisoft. One mm-hmm. of them fucking did it. They announced it. These these titles are going to be seventy dollars. Like that's oh, it. NBA. It wasn't NBA. Yeah, it was NBA. Something? Right. Yeah, it was it NBA. Was... Ironically, those games end up on Game Pass. <laughs> the NBA yeah, games. Yeah, and ironically, but... those games come out every year and are still $10 more mm-hmm. expensive. So, uh, and as soon as Sony got away with it, and as soon as Microsoft got away, it was just a matter of time until Nintendo did. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, all right. Uh, let's see. Advanced Wars plus, uh, 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Uh, finally, finally has a release date. Uh, <laughs> April 21st. I uh, just mentioned this like not too long. You're ago. You're getting this right podcast. because of all all the time oh. you complained about it, right? They yeah, won. yeah. No, I. Well, this is the thing is is like I had this already pre-ordered, but because yeah. of my, I, I had an argument with Target because they canceled my order because uh, I did the buy two get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they updated my credit card for expiration. Yeah, no, they did that for me too. I got yeah. it. They canceled it. my order. Yeah. Um. So I have to go oh. get it. Still, but yes, I am getting this game day one. So this is a day one purchase for me. So. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for this game. What, what is this series? Is this something Tactic. very old? Strategy tactics mm-hmm. game, but yes. Because so I, I, they didn't show any actual gameplay in this little thing, just a little cute cartoon. So was, I have no Corey, idea what this is. Corey, I'm trying to remember. Corey and I used to play this thing, I think probably on our KatsuCon trips? Something I like I mean, that. Down to Baltimore, Otakon, yeah. Otakon. Well, you and I would play this in the back of the car. I remember yep. playing this Hello on our blue. own. Yep, yep. Boy. Hello. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Pretty... I remember yeah, it. It's uh, uh, you get units like tanks or infantry, and you got to conquer your opponent's yeah. area, stuff like that. Okay, mm-hmm. one of those deals. Yeah, just think of Marvel Midnight Suns, but army <laughs> and two mm-hmm. D cartoony. I don't know if you're ready for this one yet, Mike. But um, I don't think I care. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually probably closer to Midnight Suns than than uh, Persona is, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but um, but this is not your. This is not. Yeah, this is not it. Uh, this game I'm looking forward to. I can't wait. Again, it was supposed to come out last year, um, with the Russian yeah, invasion. Fucking Putin. Yeah, no, it's over. So, it's good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's not over, but yes. No. All right. Game Boy games, as we mentioned earlier in this podcast, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are on Switch Online. That was a big announcement mm-hmm. from the direct as well. Uh, what? We get what kind of library we get with that? It's a whole bunch, right? It's uh, Minish Cap. Oh, the Legend of Zelda series, uh, Minish Cap. There's Tetris, Metroid Two, uh, Warrior Land Three, um, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Great game. Yep. Uh, all available online. Metroid Fusion. Part of our subscription. Yep. Oh yes, that's right. Yep. 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 So just to, uh, just for clarification, Game Boy and Game Boy Color are in the base Nintendo online service, mm-hmm. and the expansion is uh, reserved for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I was yeah. gonna ask that, which was okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty I just funny. Is like, brings me back the Game Boy Advance. Every time I see that unit, I remember back to the fact that I imported that unit. It's yeah. the only thing I've ever yeah, imported in my those life. Those are the those are uh, reading free. I remember I had one in high school and I brought it in, yep. and I amazed everybody in my class. They're like, 
what is that? And I was like, that's the, this is the Game Boy. And they're like, that's not the Game Boy. I was like, this is the Advance. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what? Yeah. It's not out here. And I was like, you're right. It's from Japan. Yeah, because it was not um, uh, locked to the region lock. Yeah, it was region, region free. It was open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. and I, had the, I had the purple one. And uh, yeah, I was... Um, yeah, I remember getting that and ordering it on. I can't remember what website that was, but uh, every time I see that image, it reminds me of me ordering that system yep. and having it. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it's so true. Chimed in, said, "Shame they separated, but need more reason to get into the expensive plan." It is funny because uh, we yeah. talk about Advance That's Wars. Me. So on on Switch, we're getting Advance Wars one and two remade. Uh, I was looking up prices because I still have my original Advance Wars copy, just for curiosity. I wanted to eBay. That yeah. game goes for absurd amounts now. Like, absurd. Mm-hmm. Like, closing in on $100 if you have it completely Ooh. boxed. Oh. With the box? With oh, the box. I don't have the box. <laughs> I mean, loose, it's still like 50 or definitely more than you paid for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and accounting for inflation, so like that. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, all these, wow. all these fucking retro games, dude, they're, uh, they're quite pricey. It's over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, Saturn games especially are crazy, ridiculous prices. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on to a shadow drop Metroid Prime remake uh, so, coming digi- uh, physical, uh, physical February 22nd uh, but they released it digitally right yep that day they're like mm-hmm. right after that day yep Boom. dropping now uh, and amazing uh, the game I- I've watched a lot of the stuff the comparison shots the video the game looks incredible uh, what they did with this remaster um, I gotta say man the GameCube still holds up pretty well. Like the Wii is the Wii is the weakest one, and that was newer, but it's it was that de- definitely less powerful than the GameCube. I, I feel it, like it was. It wasn't. <laughs> it was basically a GameCube. It was two GameCube stuff together. Is the, uh, the I just that GameCube version. You looked, expected looked more. It, mm-hmm. it looked better. I think it was but... more impressive for Metroid Prime One on the GameCube than when you saw Metroid Prime Three on the Wii. Like it, like we that was the mm-hmm. first first person Metroid, so it was like mm-hmm. dazzle dazzle wow, and then. Retro Prime 3 was kind of like a half step out, where it was like a full console generation. Like, you know, mm-hmm. if you'd went to like Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, it was just GameCube Turbo or something like that. It was like half a step out. So it was like, yeah, you don't really see yeah. a lot of it. But GameCube could not absolutely run Metro Prime 3. I will say, um, giving Nintendo credit here because uh, they're notorious for. <laughs> Pricing, uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I, I did so it. So it offsets nice. the price for Zelda. Very, Reasonable. Yes, yeah, it offsets very, the price. Very good they, value. They made That's this ten dollars cheaper. It made Zelda ten dollars more expensive to eat. I mean, that. I I fully expected this to be sixty bucks. Oh, I did too. Like, I, Dude, just, I did too. Yeah. <laughs> I did too. They're like forty. I was like, what? Yeah, because they could have done sixty bucks. <laughs> they absolutely could have done sixty bucks. They absolutely could have. Because they did with Skyward Sword HD. They did it for sixty yeah. bucks. I was yeah. like, oh well. And. Is is this fully available on the higher tier as well? No, no, this is no. you have to buy. Is it just you got yeah. This, is a, this, game. Purchase, this is purchase, yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, impressive. I'm I'm getting this game. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Pikmin Four, uh, as we mentioned earlier, release date was it July twenty first. Yeah. Um, we mentioned that earlier in this. Mm-hmm. Anything to talk about for that one? Oh, it's good. There's it's finally Pikmin. coming. Yeah, there's a, there's a Pikmin dog now, so. Oh. Yeah, and you can ride. It. Uh, Sa- so. I think Samba de Amigo Party Central was that was crazy. probably my biggest surprise of this thing. Like uh, releasing June thirtieth uh, with forty songs. Uh, I still can't believe this exists. I, I, mm. I, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked this exists right now in this world. In this in this mm. gaming age, I'm shocked. I am surprised too, just because uh, like this is Sega doing something that they haven't done in a very 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 long time. So, since yeah. I think probably the Wii, I think there was a Wii Samba de Amigo. It definitely got re-released on something. Or was it Wii? A new was it Wii, was... Wii, Wii, Wii U? I thought it was newer than that even. No, but... it was Wii. No, it was so... probably Wii. It was Wii. You're right. It was Wii. I mean, it was perfect with the the Wii. The joy... oh, not... Yes. The yeah. Remotes. It was Wii. Like joy... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like there was one more newer, but maybe I'm wrong. But it hasn't. It's been easily what a decade at this point. So yeah. Samba de Amigo. Uh, Wii. Could get yeah, it for twenty dollars on Amazon. Uh, we, I mean, we're talking probably twenty ten or something like that. Uh, Two thousand eight, so even older. There you go. Oh wow, even older. Fifteen years old. Last Samba de Amigo game, and here it is now coming back, July twenty first. Uh, sorry, June thirtieth. Sorry, June thirtieth of this year. Um, so yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah, we was two thousand eight. That's right. They have it right here in the article. Uh, Dreamcast. Um, fun stuff. 
Let's yeah, see. It's um, good for Sega. Um, what's that? It's good for Sega. It's not something Yakuza yeah. or Persona, which is all they do. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Sonic yeah, every now and then. not even <laughs> theirs. They bought into that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Uh, is it Button Kaitos Eternal Wings? Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get an HD version. One and two. So that's one and two. Another set of GameCube games, uh, and I, I really mm-hmm. think this is the path forward. So. Uh, I don't think we're going to see GameCube games on, like, a Nintendo app like we do with all the other older systems. Like, I think this is mm-hmm. it. It's like, they're just going to remake, remaster the GameCube stuff and later and just be like, here you go. Buy it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Dead Cells is getting the uh, Castlevania-themed expansion, Return mm-hmm. to Castlevania, uh, coming March 6th. There is a Dead Cells board game in the works as well. That's crazy. Interesting. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, another game shown. That coming, is a, uh, that's a deep cut. That is a deep, people were very happy about that because really, it was more of a niche release. Like it was underground because I think I want to say it was a Capcom game. Um, yeah, it's like one of those things. Twenty ten. Yeah, that came out and was like more of an underground thing than anything. It mm-hmm. never got the commercial success that it needed, but so people were just like sad that it died and it was never seen again. Really, other than like I think yeah. a mobile port or whatever, but. Mm-hmm. You yep. know how we feel about those around here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Katamari has another game coming out. Uh, we love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie. That's a mouthful. I think it's a remaster of the second one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. DLC for Splatoon 3. All right. Yeah. This is one. This is something that weirded me out because, like, it seems like the first DLC, like, they're like, Wave 1 and Wave 2. And Wave 1, it felt like all that it is is just a new lobby. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, a new lobby. Like, just imagine, like, a loading screen. And it's like, hey, this is DLC that's paid for. I'm like, what? Like, I don't understand it. They need to release more details, but that was the uproar among the uh, Splatoon community over the week. It's like, they're trying to sell us the Splatoon 1 lobby. Boycott <laughs> it. I was like, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Disney Illusion Island. How does this look? This is coming out July twenty eighth. Uh, Disney platformer that brings Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, the and Mickey, Donald. Like, like the cat, like the Genesis version, like, like all that stuff. I remember, I remember well, those it's, games it's, being super new, not difficult. It's the new art style. So is it going to have that difficulty mm-hmm. though of those games? Like, is it going to capture that old Maybe. school like brutal difficulty? Uh, I'm, inter- not. I'm interested in this actually because this one. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, my daughter, Aria, she watches, like, these shows. So she likes the old Mickey Mouse. Then She likes the DuckTales. As we mentioned last mm-hmm. week, we were talking about DuckTales. Uh, and this is right up her alley. And I'm actually, like, considering getting another Switch in here in the house. Cause, uh, yeah, you know, it's thinking about it. She's – we were talking about it because, like – little one or – I think a little one because that will be – it definitely is going to be more portable. Hand-held. Yeah, yeah handheld is going to be very – yeah, absolutely. Of... No docking needed here. No, I mean, she's, everything's handheld anyways. But this is one of those games, uh, a used Harry Potter. Um, you know, I made sure I said that specifically. <laughs> uh, but there's certain games that just, like, she would play, and that, that makes sense. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Harmony, The Fall of Reverie. I don't know what that is. Professor Layton, New World of Steam mm-hmm. game. Those Professor Layton games, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, last one was in 2014 for this. It's been a while. It's been yeah. A while. I've never Oof. played those games personally, but I know they have a dedicated fan base. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. Good for them. Uh, how, the Fantasy Life. How's, how's that game looking? The Girl Who Steals Time. Yeah. Uh, my friend Eric, you guys know Eric, uh, he played yeah. the one on 3DS, which is the, the first one, and he really liked it. It was like a half like action-adventure RPG, half like town simulation kind of thing and he he really enjoyed it so he's really looking forward to this one so and cool yeah it's good you know and and uh i think lastly as expected um more mario kart dlc yep mm. mario kart 8 <laughs> the uh, game that see. won't die <laughs> nope been around how long when did this game come out mario kart when when did mario kart 8 actually get released 20, on the uh, wii U? 14 something like that. a while ago yeah, it's been a while. I cannot believe this game has new life like this. It's, I mean, mm. talk about investment return. I mean, they've made tons of money in this yep, game. 2014. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, it's, it's a decade almost. I mean, it's Grand Theft Auto style almost here. It is. It is. Did it's they give an there. eight or not for that? Or just, just well, this is what's coming in spring? 
it's it's uh 2023 spring nothing actual release date no because it's just like the new cups and this time around they're actually adding in birdo as the returning character yeah yeah and no it's funny because i'm actually up on this because ashley is like following this with me we're playing it every now and then we're we play the newer stuff recently and um she's looking for the next update i'm like "Eh, maybe in a few months yeah, it's uh, been about every three months, so we're probably one or two months yeah. away from it. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's so many courses now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot. Let me look it up. You guys can talk, but... Yeah, I no, do, I mean, throw in I do stuff think in there makes it really, the game... you know, the replayability is just off the charts. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of courses. I, do... I don't know if it's just me, but it does feel a little less dynamic than some of the older Mario Karts. I just... It feels like not as much happens, but maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe also the courses, too. Maybe. Yeah, you could do that. Well, I mean, there, you can also tweak the um, item settings these days now. Mm. Which is, you know... Yeah, I mean, the accessibility options are really good for kids, for adults. Yeah, yeah they have the auto... Yeah, the Grand Prix. It, it is funny in the Grand Prix, though, that there's always like just like two or three good CPU players and then everyone else sucks. And mm-hmm. you always know that yeah, you have to just battle those two or three. Yeah. So by the... <laughs> it doesn't change. So by the time the DLC is done, which is to go through the end of this, end of year, this year, it will be 96 yeah. courses total. Oof. That wow. Is ridiculous. That's like value right there. That, that is, is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And, the, but the thing is like, yeah. it's a double edged sword, right? Because like, were like, did they just come out with Mario Kart Nine and start over with what sixteen or twenty? Well, that's exactly what you could. That's exactly what you can argue about Smash Brothers. Like it's the same idea. It's like, what do you, what do you well, do, what do you do further? Like, can you? Everything like, is. Supp- <laughs> is this the last Mario Kart? Was that the last Smash Brothers? I think so, but I'm like, is this the last Mario Kart? I, I for a while, no, I, I would I assume. Mean, Mario Kart Nine has to be like a near launch title for the Switch too. Has to. Be. I agree. I think. Yeah. I think that is a launch title, but I don't think we see it till then. Yeah. So whenever that's going to be. But again, is it like going to be called saying, Mario Kart Ultimate? The value. The value you know, and in that's Mario Kart Nine. So right. So that's the thing. Like maybe it is like you did have to pay for this last part. Maybe they just take Mario Kart. You know, because we've had Mario Kart Eight and Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Maybe it's like Super Mario Kart Eight Deluxe Ultimate Edition or something like that. Because I mean, really, how are you going to tell people to buy Capcom it? style, man? That's Capcom style. Come well, no, on, no. Man. I mean, just hear me out. Like, how are you going to? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just as we talked about earlier in the episode. Mario Kart 9 would hypothetically be a $70 title, right? Yes. How are you going to get into all these people, even though they're buying like yeah. the new hardware, they're going to be like, hey, um, you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which has 96 courses now. You should pay $70 for Mario Kart 9, which is only going to have like 30, 32. I was mm-hmm. going to say 20. Yeah, something uh, like but, that. Like, I mean, you got to lay out the, the game plan of what's down. Because you gotta, they also yeah. had, a decade, they they had a decade. They had a decade. They've had a decade to work on Mario Kart 9. They would need something, some other gimmick, like a or yes. game modes. Like there has to be more than just yeah, yeah. how we are. One hundred percent, they're holding something back for nine, and it will make you buy that, spend the seventy dollars. That's how you do you it. Go back yeah. to like double dash style or some shit. I've heard, uh, I've heard some uh, wishes from the Nintendo community that uh, they want like a, uh, I forget what the mode from Diddy Kong Racing was though, where it was like a story. Mm. Oh yeah, that was yes, like so that would be awesome. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I love that. They, that was fantastic. Did they did they eventually fix the battle mode in this? Like make it more like how it used to be. Yes, there are battle arenas. Yeah. yeah. I've said them not, now no one plays them anymore, but No, you can still you <laughs> yeah. can find matches pretty easily, but it's the you know, circuit racing yeah. is still the, the mm-hmm. big draw there. Yeah. All right, and that was the Direct. As we mentioned last week, there was a lot to look forward to here. We got a lot of great stuff from Nintendo coming this year. Um, we're going to look forward forward to... There's actually a lot more stuff coming this year. Uh, a traditional E3 coming back. Uh, we've got... With Nintendo. <laughs> with, not with, 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 with anybody. anybody. Without, without the big three. Um, and what, no, is, what is E3 Jeff without the pretty, big three? Jeff pretty much killed E3, even though it doesn't want to be dead. It should be Jeff's dead. got his... Jeff's got his show coming yep. right after where I think they're going to have real <clears throat> people there. The way so. I think that um, I think that the individual presentations work better anyways. And, they, and the companies know that. So. Oh, well, well now, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was the, yeah. I was the, the, the profit back in the day, huh? 
I never said. I, I know. I, I still got to bring it up. I think every I, chance I two or three years ago, I started to agree with you, and I was like, "He's right. He's absolutely right." Um, so yeah, I just uh, it's we'll see. I it's mean, just, I'm, it's I'm excited better for everybody. I think you know. I'm excited to see what comes this year from yes, even including Microsoft and Sony because I do think I'll get a PS5 this year as well. Um, but Nintendo has to be hyped because I have it. I have the system already. So um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, cool. with with Jeff, the thing is like. Jeff is the guy that if you're playing like a co-op game or something like that, where it's like, oh, your 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 teammate is down, like press A to revive him or something like that. He's just like, actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> where it's like E3 is dying. COVID just like put like you know put it half even worse. Grave. Yeah. And, and Jeff yeah. just came up was like, like just shoveled dirt on top of it. Like I'm gonna bury you, bitch. Like <laughs> now it's I gotta that's have that flash. That flash meme body. with him, the flash meme with him like this next to E3's yeah, grave. Yeah, that's it. It's that's like it. One hundred percent. It is. We got to make that yep. now. <laughs> yeah, that's unbelievable. All right, that's a good. That's a good one. All right, that's gonna wrap up this episode of the Gamecast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are live on Twitch Tuesday night starting at eight o'clock. Please join us live. Uh, we're on YouTube the following day. If you can't make a live show, we uh, have new content, so check that out. Uh, new stuff coming in the pipeline for bonus episodes. Uh, subscribe to both channels so you get notified when we post these things. Um, you know, thank you for joining us. And uh, Churro, thank you. Good conversations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. We are out tonight, and uh, see you next week. Bye. Adios. Bye.